Hi everyone, welcome to 1-6 Scale. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, today's video is going to be a little different. As you can see from the title, Rescuing Barbie Extra Number 3. Um, I like to go to thrift stores and find Barbies and clothes and accessories. They're really inexpensive there. Plus, you just find a lot of really unique items. At the thrift store, the dolls are all together in a large bin. Each doll has a price tag on it. Some of the dolls have clothes on them and some of them don't. The prices of the dolls usually range from $1.99 to $5.99 each. They're all thrown in a large bin, all tangled together. They definitely need rescuing. I found this doll in the bin of dolls. It was $1.99. I really like this doll. It had a silver bodysuit and I liked the hair. It was long and had some pink highlights in it. And it was in really good condition. I wasn't exactly sure what doll it was. When I brought it home, I realized it was the Barbie Extra doll number three. And I don't have any Barbie Extra dolls in my collection, so I thought for $1.99 we could clean up this Barbie, add some clothes and accessories that I already have, and do a little DIY and have a Barbie Extra 3 doll of her own. First things first, we have to remove the $1.99 bracelet. And now this Barbie Extra number 3 doll needs a day at the spa. the doll looks like after we've cleaned it up. It's definitely an improvement. The hair is a lot softer and it's not as frizzy as it was before. It still has some of the crimping in the hair. I also gave the doll some space buns because the original doll has space buns and these long kind of hairs down the front of the face. This is what the Barbie Extra number three doll looks like with all the outfits, the furry coat and the clothes and the accessories. The Barbie Extra doll has a pair of blue pants, they have white stars on them, and ruffles down the sides, and also some white boots with some ruffles on the back of the boot. I have these blue pants, they're like a light blue jean with some white, and I also have these boots, they're white and they have high chunky heels. Here's the doll with the blue pants and the white boots, and the doll starting to come together. The Barbie Extra doll also came with three necklaces, one that says Barbie, one that has a star on it, and one that is a choker, and they are all silver. I gave this doll three silver necklaces. The first one says the word star, and the second one has a bow on it, and the third one is a silver choker. This doll also came with silver hoop earrings, and these are the original earrings that came with the doll. Here is how the doll is looking so far. We have the pants and the boots. We have the three silver necklaces. And the hair is done with the space buns. The doll also comes with a pair of sunglasses. They're black and they have white uh, around the rim of the glasses. I had these glasses. They are purple and they're translucent. They're the same shape as the glasses, so I decided to paint them. To paint the glasses, I used black acrylic paint to do the black and I used white acrylic paint to paint the white. The Barbie Extra 3 doll is starting to look a lot more like the original doll. There's a few things missing. Um, this doll has a, it's like a candy bar. It says sweet on it as a purse, which I don't have. And also has a pet pig, which I don't have. But so there's only one thing missing, and that is the fluffy pink jacket. To make the jacket, I used full fur that I purchased at a fabric store. And the jacket is hand sewn with needle and thread. To make the jacket, start with a piece of fur. Turn the fur over so that the back side is facing out. With a ruler and a pen or fabric marker, make a rectangle that is 24 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. At the 10 centimeter line, measure down two and a half centimeters and make a mark. 
With the two and a half centimeter point that we just made the mark, take your ruler and draw a line that is eight centimeters. And at the beginning of that eight centimeter line that we just drew, draw a line straight down to match the bottom of the fur. And then repeat that on the other side. So now we have two arms for the jacket and this is the body of the jacket. At the halfway point of the 24 centimeters is 12 centimeters, make a mark and then make a mark at one and a half centimeters from that point and one and a half centimeters. And at that 12 centimeter point, measure down one centimeter and make another mark. And with your pen or fabric marker, start at the one side and make a little half circle to the other side. And this is gonna be the neck opening for the jacket. And now with your scissors, we're gonna cut out the jacket. We're gonna cut up the body. We're gonna cut across the sleeves and across the top. And this is the jacket cut out, the arms and the body. And now you cut this half semicircle for the neckline. Now we've cut out the neckline and this pattern will be for the front of the jacket. Make another rectangle 24 centimeters by 10. Repeat the steps the same as we did for the front of the jacket. This is going to be the back of the jacket. And at the top of the jacket, you don't need to make a semicircle. You just leave it straight across. And then with your scissors, cut out the back of the jacket. So here are both sides of the jacket cut out. This is the front of the jacket and this is the back of the jacket. To sew the jacket together, match the front of the jacket with the back of the jacket and put the fur side pieces together. So this is the front and this is the back. And then with a needle and thread, we're going to sew up the jacket. To sew the jacket, we're going to start at the top of the jacket and we're going to line up the arms and the body together. Sew the jacket with a crossover stitch all the way across the top until you reach the first neck opening. Once you've sewn across the first part of the top of the jacket and you get to the neck opening, start at the second part of the neck opening and continue sewing across with your crossover stitch and sew across till you get to the end of the sleeve. Here's what the jacket looks like so far. We've sewn across the top on both sides and we've left the neck part open and now we're going to sew across the sleeve and down the body. When you're sewing the inside of the sleeve, Tuck the fur inside the sleeve as you're sewing along. Continue with your crossover stitch, but as you're sewing along, continue to tuck the fur inside the sleeve. This is what the jacket looks like so far. We've sewn across the top and we've sewn across the under part of the sleeve. We've tucked all the fur into the sleeve as we've sewn along, and then you continue sewing down the body and you continue tucking in the fur. Continue that on the other side, sew across the sleeve and down the body. And as you're sewing, continue tucking in the fur. This is what the completed jacket looks like once it's sewn. We've sewn across the top, under the arms, and down the sides. At the middle of the neckline, draw a line straight down to the bottom of the jacket. With your scissors, cut straight down that line. Once we've finished cutting down the front of the jacket, we're going to turn the jacket right side out. I use a sharpie to push through the sleeves. And there you have your very fluffy, very extra faux fur jacket. Here's the jacket on the doll and the completed look of our Barbie extra doll number three. We found the doll at the thrift store for $1.99, added some clothes and accessories that we already had, painted some sunglasses and made a DIY furry jacket for the doll. And now we have our own version of Barbie Extra number three. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.